guys, we are here at WonderCon about to see the early screening of season two of The Tick and season two of Cobra Kai. We want to say thank you to Sony Pictures Television for activating us and sponsoring this video. Now let's go! One, two, two three, three, Tick! Mm. We just watched the um, the Tick screening, the season two premiere screening for the first episode, and it was amazing. It was really, really funny. Right. And then we saw the panels for that. And we... does, does your mic work? This works? Yeah, I don't right. have a mic. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> for the actors, uh, what can you tease about the second season and what happens to your characters? For the show in general, as you probably can tell from what you just saw, this, I, I think of it as Ben Edlund's imagination unleashed. Um, you're gonna get more absurdity, more laughs, more action too, it's really fun. Now that you're on the ride, it really gets to pick up the pace and really um, go full blast. It was cool watching it with everybody <laughs> just now. We were sitting in the audience, it was, it was great. There were some really funny new characters. Season one, we'd, we'd read the scripts and go, that's, that's crazy, I can't believe that that's gonna happen. Season two is that times a million. We never knew what the Nye was, what's his one weakness, and we find out it is, in fact, uh, forms. It's yeah, paperwork. paperwork yeah. It like melts. He has like a kryptonite effect every time he has to fill out yeah. his info. It's funny what, 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 what uh, Griffin was saying about uh, the Aegis, the, the Aegis superheroes are just there for the charging of their phones. Anyway, so uh, uh, Superior this season really has no interest whatsoever in doing any superhero work. <laughs> He's still there, isn't he? Hi. 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 So nice meeting you guys. I love the first screening of season two. We're here to ask you guys a, qu a couple questions for our YouTube channel. How would season two be different from season one? Uh, in many, many ways. I would say the re... re if you can believe it, the ridiculousness quotient is is magnified. It goes it, up. It, yeah, it goes up. It goes up. Yeah, which it's overkill. Is great. We it's, it's overkill. Yeah. We have a big, we have a lot of character growth for all of our characters, and also we introduce new villain. Everyone is go is sort of like going through their own very particular form of therapy, and I, I feel like in this season, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they are really acting through it. And yeah. sometimes therapy has to get really bad before it can get good. <laughs> now we're in a position where we can it, the characters are sort of fully realized. We've hopefully built them up with a little more emotion um, from the previous versions, which are more kind of just parodies. But now we have the fully formed Tick and Rocco working together. So will we be seeing any special guests this coming season? New characters or enemies? There's new heroes come, Flexon and Sage the Supernumerary. Yeah. He's kind of like a Doctor Strange guy and... Oh. Bronze um, Star. Bronze Star. One of the other cool things that happens in the season is we kind of draw the line between... Uh, we have two sort of classes of heroes, uh, basically. The heroes and then essentially the vigilantes. So without spoilers, describe season two with one word. Spoilers, I would say the one word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the one we can't say. Weird? We're, we're, we're uh, fun? Uh, uh, no, 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 we're, we're, yeah. we've, we've gone past the limit now. It's yeah, just one sorry. word. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna change my answer. My one word is Aegis. Because Aegis is the company that's sort of like shield within the universe of Tick. I'm gonna give you my word. Motherhood. Nobody asked you. Motherhood. 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 That's motherhood. Motherhood. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. A lot of motherhood. You have Please to explain. watch to understand. You'll see. Motherhood. The other stars. Yeah. One word that would describe season two, and one of the answers was very surprising. Yeah. You said motherhood. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> said that, they but. certainly get closer with Arthur's mom for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, the themes of uh, motherhood are actually deeply explored. Oddly, I mean, this is not a one-word. I didn't do your one-word thing. <laughs> but, uh, ask motherhood. Ben, can't do, word ben can't do. Ben can't do one word. No, I can do about eighty. Okay. okay. Very nice thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
to it, and there's no better way to start with the head of the Cobra Kai Dojo. Please give it up for Johnny Lawrence himself, William Southcott. Returning for a We're going to bring out the man who made us all learn that mercy is for the weak. He plays Miguel. Please welcome Sholo Martiwania, whose name I just missed. Go by Eli, but now he goes by Hawk. Please welcome Jacob Bertrand. Yeah! Remember, uh, John Kreese comes in at the end at the, after uh, the Cobra Kai finally took back the All Valley and their rightful place in the karate world. Thank you to uh, Hawk and uh, Miguel, John Kreese. And uh, Johnny truly believed that he was dead, as did Daniel. That exact moment. So when you watch, uh, and, uh, and John Kreese is back in his... For the, the, really the karate kid for the last 30 years. John Kreese has never believed that a simple thing called the crane kick could defeat the <laughs> There are two things that John Kreese truly loves, and that's Cobra Kai and Johnny Lawrence. And uh, as we watch the shows, you know, through the, these, as of April 24th, you'll get a chance to see how much he loves Johnny Lawrence and how much he truly loves Cobra Kai. The Cobra Kai is expanding, uh, Kreese is showing up, might we also see some unusual ways to teach the Cobra Kai at large? Yeah, I mean, the thing about, the, the fun thing about the Cobra Kai dojo is that it doesn't really take place a lot of times in the dojo, and uh, there's gonna be a lot of new and interesting locations where Johnny is going to challenge his students to learn his kind of karate in an environment that makes sense for what Cobra Kai is. And I think we have a little piece of that to show you today. What's up? Hi, you guys. Oh, look at all those good shirts. She's got red now. Real deal, right here. Yeah, you guys like family? Yeah, for YouTubers, so we're gonna ask you guys a couple questions. Nice. So. so, first question: Did you guys ever think you will start with 80s icons? I, don't I think never would have seen it coming. Say, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I mean, I guess it could happen, but even you know, even while we were filming the first season, it still doesn't feel real. How does it feel being the master of the student instead of being the student? Like the difference. How is it being the master of the students? I love it. It's kind of like having camp. Um, so for me, it's a lot of fun to be able to have a dojo of students and uh, be kind of their camp counselor, even though he's teaching things that may not be the best thing. They're not annoying anything like that? No, they never annoy me. I might annoy them. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you guys think that season two will be different from season one? A season two is like season one, just a lot bigger. You know, there's a fight every episode. There's a ton of new characters that get introduced. It's very, very much, yeah, the stakes are raised. Well, the difference is uh, Miyagi-Do Karate, which is Daniel Russo's dojo, is opening up. So now Daniel's got a competing dojo. So he's gonna be teaching his kids. Do you guys prepare for like, do any karate things or do like any physical training um, that you guys do? I mean, I don't need training. I'm pretty buff already. Um, yeah. We do training in LA. It's a lot of stretching. Which yeah. is so hard when <laughs> when yeah when you're not it's rough stretching when it's when legit yeah, stretching. don't yeah don't yeah laugh. it's if not like okay now we're gonna badly, touch our toes badly, it's like badly, yeah, exactly. you know? like, it feels to be like the hero now instead of like the villain like, you know. that is such a sweet question <laughs> <laughs> can you ask me that again i'm glad people are rooting for johnny lawrence you know but it's there are no heroes and villains really in the show. We're all, there's shades of gray. Everybody's a little good, a little bad. I like the evolution of my character, which we can't tell you much about in season two, but in John World, John Kreese's world, the vulnerability is a very unusual word. So, um, but they've written parts of vulnerability, they've written parts of my love and affection for him, and what happens to him when Integrity changes. Thank you guys. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are beautiful. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. What a sweet bunch of people. We had an awesome time today. Like, little awesome. We got to be like the cast. We got to see.
see the previews of it. You can see the early screening. It was so much fun. Yes. Thank you, Sony, for letting this yes. happen. Yes, thank you so much to Sony for letting this happen. Don't forget, guys, to check out season two premiere of The Tick, which premieres on April 5th, and the season two premiere of Cobra Kai, which premieres April 24th. All right, guys. Bye. 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 Yeah.